him, police say, is this man you see walking down Elliott Place, where he followed a 27-year-old woman into her apartment, slammed her up against a wall, and attempted to rape her. The young woman received a slight laceration to her face, but hopes the suspect takes responsibility himself. The U.S. has become a dumping, dumping ground. ground for everybody else's probe. They were really just getting started, and I think their big break was that they were the house beer for Trump Hotel. I know he was not the very best guy, but... It was not something that we thought about. We were just like, ah, oh, there's this account. They're pretty big. Business is business. I mean, we were just selling beer. Hey, Trump is un... I don't know. He's an... He's a... I mean, I can't believe that we're selling to them. Essentially, what they're saying to Donald Trump is you're fired. It was just such a, a moral stand. No, they're not saying that at all. We thought it wouldn't be congruent to be making a beer for the Trump Towers. You'll see it in the lawsuit. You'll read about it as soon as I file the lawsuit. We all felt that there was no choice but to really do this. I do remember being very nervous. It's celebrated. One man is seen pulling a gun on a 31-year-old named Richard Cepeda inside the lobby. A second man punches Cepeda in the face as he tries to run away from the building. The man with the gun then fires shots as the victim runs away. Cepeda was pronounced dead at the hospital. It all happened Thursday around 9.30 p.m. So far, no arrests.